maybe this would be a good segue into acceptance versus allowance. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's a massive difference. Uh, just like we just talked about between pain and suffering, they're not the same thing. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional through identification. Caring and compassion is another thing I talk about. Caring is having a vested interest in a specific outcome, which is actually disempowering. Compassion is being fully present now. But yet people use caring and compassion as the same thing. They're not. They're not even close to the same thing. Neither is pain and suffering. And neither is acceptance and allowance. They're not the same thing. Acceptance, if we, if we uh, and let, let's say this word to ourselves, okay? Acceptance. Okay, I, I want everyone to almost like tangibly feel what happens to you when you say acceptance. Okay, I accept, I accept that. Okay, for me, all of a sudden there's a contraction. I get a contraction immediately when I say I accept that. Okay, I think that's interesting. Okay, when we accept something, we are in agreement. Underneath acceptance, right underneath it is I agree. Right? Okay. So now let's look at acceptance. So if something is just wildly discordant, whatever it is, something going on in the world culture, what, what passes for world culture, what something is going on or something going on at home or something going on with mom and dad or husband, wife, or whatever, whatever it is, right? Something discordant to you. Okay. Spiritual buzzword is to, oh, I, you know, I accept that. I accept that. No, no, don't. Do not accept that. That means you're in agreement with that. You're in agreement with discordant behavior. And that means you're limiting that. That means that is the reality that you agree to. I accept it. I accept that. Shift from acceptance. And I know this is, you know, it's a spiritual buzzword to be in acceptance. It's not metaphysically. We need to understand the words that we're using. Okay. Let's shift right now from acceptance to allowance. Say that word, allowance. What happens to your energy when you say that? A allowance, I can tell you what happens for me. Mm -hmm. Right, acceptance, yeah. I'm giving sound effects. Acceptance, yeah. allowance. Okay, night and day, contraction, expansion. Okay, so we want to move to a state of allowance. Now, allowance means we are able to not only perceive one reality, but we're allowing other realities to manifest themselves, other possibilities. You're not in agreement with this discordant reality. You're allowing that reality, and you're also allowing the possible possibilities of other realities to take place. You're also no longer limiting the perception that you have of what is going on when you're in a state of allowance. You're also giving the discordant moment the ability to transcend that because you're allowing that. You're also allowing the other possible possibilities in terms of how someone could behave. We have to use the right words because words have power. It's a vibration that affects the ether. That's how we get meaning of words. We wanna work with allowance. We want to allow the infinite possibilities to come within the field of our consciousness and not be in agreement of one single reality, because that's not how things are. That's one single perception. That's one single take on the infinite possibilities that exist within every single moment. 